It's 8 a.m. Who scheduled an 8 a.m. dentist appointment on Feel Good Friday? I want to talk to that person. Whoever it is, whoever scheduled me that 8 a.m. dentist appointment. Come on now. They struggle got purpose and we grow. So whatever wrong we have to take next. All I need to know is that we'll roll with the punches. Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. Happy feel good. Friday that's right it's feel good Friday y'all happy Friday 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 guys I am headed off to the dentist this morning uh, it seems like the last time I went to the dentist it was a feel good Friday and it was also raining I was thinking as I was going into the dentist that I wanted to uh, tell you uh, I, I've in the past I've had a fear of going to the dentist um, back when I was younger so I lived in Texas and I moved to Kansas City when I was 10 and um, so when I was younger I went to uh, Baylor University they had like a free clinic there to train uh, the dentist right it was kind of like a training uh, facility where they would uh, the dentist would treat patients and uh, so I was one of their guinea pigs all right and I just uh, remember having maybe it was because I was just young and a, as a kid or maybe it's because it was dental students I don't know I don't know but I just remember having a horrible time at the dentist Especially, guys, do you, any of you remember going to the dentist and that fluoride they would uh, put in those trays, like those styrofoam trays, and then you would have to, you, so you put the fluoride in those styrofoam trays, and then you would put those styrofoam trays in your mouth, and you would have to sit with them. And it, it seemed like it was like an hour. Now, it was an hour. I don't know how long it was. But I just remember just sitting with that and, and just feeling this gagging sensation. And the taste wasn't great. And the styrofoam trays were just so big in your mouth. Oh, man. Horrible, horrible experience. So, I remember having that fear. And then late in, or early in my 20s, uh, you know, and through kind of my adult life, uh, up until like maybe 10 years ago or so, I really avoid going to the dentist. I avoided going to the dentist. I maybe, like I know there were times, like at least one time, where I didn't go to the dentist for two or three years. And um, so because of that, when I finally went to the dentist, I found out that I, because I was avoiding it, I had uh, had lots of teeth issues and so um, so I learned from that and uh, now I go for my regular cleanings every six months and I think I just genetically have bad teeth anyway but uh, there are times where I have to um, you know I've got to get things filled and I got lots of like uh, fillings from when I was younger and then kind of as I got older that I just have to get repaired all the time and so um, but every time I go to the dentist I think back in my heart you know I just start to feel a little anxious about going to the dentist uh, and I think it has to do with just my younger years and just kind of those memories that I have so I don't know I don't know but uh, I do go now, and I use that anxiety stuff that I talk about, that you can't avoid your fears, you gotta face them, right? The cognitive behavioral stuff, right? Thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. So that's right, I do not like going to the dentist. I do not, do not, do not like going to the dentist. I usually say something like, would you rather blank or go to the dentist, meaning, Dentist is one of the last places I like to go. But 
you got to do it. You got to keep your teeth clean and healthy. So I'm off to the dentist and uh, I'll catch up with you after the dentist uh, and give you just my thoughts on the week. All right, dentist done, dentist done. My mouth is uh, still numb a little bit, so hopefully everything's working the right way. Hopefully everything's working. Okay. I think I'm going to call it here today. I, um, I'm just going to have a chill day, guys. We've had a big, big week. And uh, I just need some time to relax and uh, recoup from the week. I've got just some things that I need to take care of today that I didn't get done this week. Um, it's just been a big week. Uh, we had some street tacos and we tried to go uh, get some foos uh, frozen custard but they were closed right in Brookside and then uh, you know we went to Power and Light, we went to Blind Box uh, we had a big week in the feel good community y'all uh, just talked just we had a big big week we've had a big week clients are crushing their goals we've got a class tomorrow that I'm preparing for anxious kids anxious parents um, just got lots of stuff going on lots of stuff so we're just gonna call it a day today we're gonna rest and relax and just get some stuff we're just gonna call it a day we're calling it a day we're calling it a day we hope you guys have a fun safe weekend don't forget on Sunday the weekly recap comes out so if you didn't get a chance to watch uh, some of the vlogs this week check out the weekly recap because it's a highlight of the week of all the vlogs put into one um, and so uh, the weekly recaps uh, come out on Sunday uh, so check out this Sunday uh, and you'll see just kind of the highlights of this week other than that y'all look forward to uh, getting back after it next week and uh, we'll see you then oh yeah one more thing Get out there and create that life you want to live.